As a video creator for a startup whose entire mission is to empower online creators by giving them the tools to share their stories, I was in the office the other day wondering, how few views do you need to survive as a full-time YouTuber? It's clear to me that being an online creator can be incredibly lucrative. If we look at huge YouTubers like PewDiePie, the Paul Brothers, the D'Amelio sisters, and even Ryan's toy reviews, you can tell that by being an influencer, you can make millions. But not everyone will always reach this status. Glossed over are the stories of many medium and small YouTubers who do make a living online, but they just aren't making millions. So I set out to find how smaller creators really can make a living online, and how few views do you truly need to survive as a full-time YouTuber. Let's get into it. So first I had to do quite a bit of research. I had to decide what is making a living? Is it living comfortably or is it living like just above the poverty line? How many people are you supporting? Where are you living? And obviously these different variables change the answer significantly. So I decided that the only way that we could possibly even get close to answering this question of how few views you truly need to survive as a YouTuber, I would have to create a persona. So here's the person I came up with. They are 21 years old, they are single, they don't have any children, they don't have any debt, and they're living in Los Angeles because they think you have to live there to make it as a YouTuber. So then I did some research on what a living wage is and I went to this website which said that a living wage in Los Angeles for a single person is $19.35 working 40 hours a week with no weeks off. And ultimately when you do the multiplication that adds up to just over $40,000 a year. I think that's a good place where you wouldn't be in poverty but you also aren't balling out and have tons and tons of extra money. Especially when you consider that after taxes you'll have around $32 $2,000. And if you are a YouTuber in the United States, then you are your own boss, so you have to pay the extra self-employment tax. So you're probably taking home around $30,000 a year if you make 40. So I think you could make it with $30,000 after taxes. You will not be living lavishly, but I think you can survive. So then we have to look at how much money you make from YouTube. Now, if you wanted to support yourself just on AdSense alone, you would have to get quite a lot of views. For instance, if we look at our own channel, Kapwing, if we look at how many views it took us to make $40,000, it ends up being around 9 million views. Now, everyone's CPMs are different, so what you make with 9 million views might be much more or much less depending on your type of content and how many ads you put in your content. But assuming that your CPM is pretty average and around what ours is, then if you got 9 million views, you'd probably be able to support yourself. Done. However, this adds up to be 175,000 views per week, 52 weeks per year, which is a lot of views and honestly, just not attainable for most people. But luckily there are other sources of income that YouTubers can use to support themselves. So I reached out to Justin Moore, who is the creator of Creator Wizard on YouTube. Creator Wizard is a channel that is all about empowering creators to monetize their content in the best way possible. So I wanted to consult with him about all the different ways people make money on YouTube and how little of it comes from AdSense, as well as some other things. Justin, thanks so much for coming today. I know you have an entire YouTube channel called Creator Wizard dedicated to helping creators not only monetize, but also optimize their content. So thank you for coming. Absolutely, thanks for having me. And I think there is this perception of like, you can only start making money on YouTube once you hit like 4,000 watch hours, become monetized. I'd love to get your take on if this is legit or if you can start making money earlier than that. I think one of the biggest myths is that it's very hard to make a sustainable income with just YouTube AdSense revenue, right? You're, you're, you're yes. gonna need to be doing millions of views a month, uh, multiple millions of views a month to be able to uh, you know, make a, a sustainable income. Could you, I don't know, maybe personally or just with, you know, other creators that you've worked with tell me like on average how many revenue streams you actually have to create this sustainable career out of being a creator why don't i talk about my own revenue streams because that's probably Please. interesting um so we have youtube adsense we have um brand deals uh we have um you know i do consulting and coaching um i have a newsletter so i do sponsorships on the newsletter um and i also have a digital course um to help people get brand deals and then affiliate income as well you know affiliate income is a non-trivial part of our business too. One really interesting thing to note, which is that about six to seven years ago, um, like 95% of our income as creators was from AdSense, right? Whoa. And now it's 3%. <laughs> 
Yeah. So it's been a gigantic shift, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is that there's just a massive proliferation in the amount of creators and co content and you know monetizable inventory that advertisers can run their content, their ads against, right? Um, and then so th those are the that's kind of the declining trend line, and then the inclining trend line that you know is is the reason that you know it's only three percent now is that there is just so much more interest with brands to partner with creators. So like brand deals right. is a big part of our business, and so that has kind of like just grown to like take over a huge piece of our of our revenue strategy. How few views do you think you could get to survive as a YouTuber. The amount of views that you get is not a good proxy for how robust your business strategy is. Um, I know another creator who, um, he helps international students uh, figure out how to get accepted in Finnish universities, Finland, okay. in Finland. And he uh, went full time as a creator and he has less than 5,000 wow. subscribers on his YouTube channel. You know, most content, uh, I can't, I don't know exactly what the updated statistics are, but it's like, you're probably going to see for a million views per month, let's just say a, mi a million views a month, because I, I like thinking monthly, because we're, we're talking about being sustainable, right? It's not just a viral right. video, right? Um, right? A million views a month for most content verticals, you're going to make two to $4,000. If you're not doing anywhere near a million views a month, like you have to just understand, like if you're an aspiring creator, maybe like getting like the maximum amount of YouTube views shouldn't be your strategy. Maybe you should sit mm -hmm. back and think, okay, you know, what can I do if I'm getting, you know, three, four, 5,000 views per video, what other things can I offer um, my audience that I could directly monetize them. Maybe it's a course, maybe it's coaching, maybe it's consulting, maybe it's an ebook, whether what, whatever it is, because you still have influence, right? You still have people who come to you for expertise. So um, maybe the end goal isn't to like make, you know, income on AdSense every month, but, you know, broaden your perspective on like how you're making money. Um, and so again, like it really depends on the content vertical to answer your question. But um, <laughs> I think for most creators, the best thing to do is think about other ways in which you can serve your audience. Well, Justin, this has been super awesome. Um, thank you so much. I know you have so much more info on your YouTube channel, Creator Wizard, and on your website. Um, if you guys want to take a course, you know the man. Um, but yes. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on today. Absolutely. Thanks again for having me. So obviously, every creator is incredibly different. Depending on what niche you're in, the amount of money that you make can be... Well, it just really depends. However, one thing that Justin said that stuck with me was that just 3% of his income comes from AdSense. This was way, way, way lower than I was expecting and it makes becoming a full-time creator seem a lot more manageable if you don't have to get 9 million views, but if you have to get just 3% of that. So I'm sure there are a lot of YouTubers who make a lot more money from AdSense than just 3%, but let's say that you're like Justin and 3% of your income from being a creator comes from AdSense. So remember, we're trying to make 40,000 so 3% of 40,000 comes out to $1,200 a year, AKA $100 a month. So you'd wanna be making around $100 a month from AdSense. So based on our personal channel, we got 9 million views, which equaled $40,000. So if you do the math, that means that 225 views equals $1. So if you do 225 views times 100, because you wanna make $100 a month, then you end up with 22,500 views per month on YouTube, which is much more manageable than the 175,000 views per week, which ends up being like 700,000 views per month. Big, big difference. I think getting 22,500 views per month, it's not easy necessarily, but it's much more manageable. So if you are like Justin, then you would be able to survive off of 22,500 views a month if you got 97% of your income outside of AdSense. However, and there's always a caveat, we have to understand that as a creator, opportunities are always changing, always. And so a part of me thinks that actually the number of how many views you actually need to survive are a zero. And I know that sounds weird and not possible, but let me explain. Okay, so for instance, I no longer really make any videos on my own personal YouTube channel. I was hired by a company to do it for them. This is my full-time job. I make several videos per week. And so I'm not being paid based off of views, but I'm being paid based off of salary. Now, obviously I'm trying to make views for my company, but it's not so tit for tat where it's like, I'm only being paid from my YouTube AdSense, right? I no longer have to worry about views and the same way as I did before. So if you're a working creator, just keep your head up and know that you'll be able to make it work. I did, even though I wasn't making tons of money from YouTube before, and I'm making more money than ever doing this than I ever was doing my own channel. So opportunities arise, follow the opportunities, and you're gonna develop a ton of skills that you can use to support yourself for the rest of your life. So 
Maybe the answer is zero. I know that's cheesy, but <laughs> Alright guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Also check out our Discord so you can hang out with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff like me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.